do remember to scream like a little girl when confronted by a chupacabra. It always worked for me in the past. I love this book. Hey everybody, Kicker Fools here, and welcome to my back-to-back -back tutorials with Magic Movie Editor Pro 15 Plus. On this tutorial, we're going to be working with the special effects key, the chroma key, and some of the other special effects that you can do here using Magic Movie Editor Pro 15 Plus. I get a lot of emails from people that say, you know, Magic Movie Editor Pro 15 Plus is so different from the other versions. That's true. There's a learning curve on it. If you're used to using the older versions, this is going to be completely different. That's what this tutorial is about. What's really good about this version is that you can edit your movie while in progress. While the other one, you had to go to a separate window and edit it, and then you had to render it, and then you had to watch the, the video and see if it's the way that you wanted it. Well, this one, you can edit it while you're in progress on the video monitor. So it's quite a bit better than the old versions, I think. So... Um, Next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is that, you know, my uh, movie edit pro tutorials are doing pretty good. You know, probably some of my most popular ones are close to 10,000 views, doing really, really well. I'm just going to just ask you one favor. If I can help you, that's great. That's why I do these tutorials. But please, you know, you can help me also by clicking over here and subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And I've got goals and benchmarks that I'm trying to do. So if you find the tutorials useful, Please, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy these back-to-back -back tutorials. If you're a subscriber and you have any questions, or if I can help you, I will try to answer those questions for you. And that's it. So I hope you find this tutorial useful, and it deals with special effects, picture-in-picture. Picture. Kicker fools, enjoy the tutorial. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the video project and double-clicking on the video. And it's asked me if I want to make adjustments. No, we'll adjust it later on the timeline. And let's see. There is Jordan Mate from Melbourne, Australia. A good friend of mine sent this to me. We're going to edit this for the green screen. Okay, see those white boxes on the side? We do not need those. So let's go over here to the effects key. What we're going to be working with, movement, effects, section and zoom, and size and position. But on section and zoom, what we're going to do is click over here with key proportions, and we're going to be working on that. Let me give you some examples what you can do over here. Say if you want to do the picture and click on that. Let's go down here to the landscape, a widescreen, and that's what you have. Let's try it again. Let's go here to portrait. Okay, let's go ahead and preview that so you can see what I mean. There you go. But, you know, I like to do my own editing. I like to crop and size my own. So if you go back up here and pick on your subject here, and you've got to select the picture. There we go. Select it. Section and zoom. Preview it. Okay, go up here to your free proportions. Now you can crop and edit your subject however you want to. So we're getting rid of all the black lines there. And I want to get George Nutt's shoulders in there. I want to get the whole body in there. There we go. Now let's go ahead and hit the preview button and see what it looks like. There we go. But you know what? That's too big of a picture. If I hit size and position, I can now grab up here the corners and I can shrink George Mate down to where I want to have. Another cool thing that we have here is we have a special effects, say like rotation and mirror. And this is a pretty cool tool that you can have. You can rotate your subject whichever way that you want. And this is flipping him completely around. And uh, you're going to have to kind of mess with these a little bit and uh, see how you want to do it. Let's go over there to the sub one. Flip left to right. Really cool tools on here. There's also the 3D distortion and the movement template, which you can use to uh, work with your special effects. You can always get back to the start by seeing the numbers there where it says zero. See that? Here's straight horizon. Okay, also below that you have the mirror effect where you can flip your subject from left to right, upside down, whichever way that you want. Richard's dizzy by now. I'm sure he's through flipping around. Okay, let's go over here, since it's a green screen, let's go over here to the chroma key. Since it's green, let's hide everything green. See where the threshold and fading range is at? You're going to have to torque this till you get the desired effect that you want. And that should be fine. 
Okay, a lot of people ask me about picture in picture and how to work that. So if you go over here, now what we're going to do is do that, and we're going to import a picture. So let's go over here to my pictures, and let's pick a background picture for George Mate. What would work good for him? Oh, I know what to pick. I know what to pick. The Australian Staple Food Vegemite. There we go. So we're like, there's Richard. And, you know, I don't want to put him, my subject, right there in the middle of the video. What I want to do is get kind of artsy with it and work the lower thirds. So I'm going to go back up here to effects, and I'm going to click on the size and position. <coughs> And now I can move my subject wherever I want to. I can move them to left to right. And that's what you call the lower third. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now what's great about Magic's Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus versus the older editions of uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro is that you can edit right there on the timeline as you're working with it or before you had to use a special window. Okay, let's go ahead and put a title on there. Let's see, um, what shall we put? Oh, oh I know, but let's put... Jordanate loves Vegemite. That sounds pretty good. And you see how the white uh, font in the background doesn't blend in? Let's go ahead and change that and pick black. See how that works. Mm, not so much better. You can move this by the sidebars going left to right on your... You know, I don't like that picture. Let's try this one. This is a better one. I think this one will work better. Okay, there we go. You know what? Now we need to change the font. Let's change it to black. Double click on it. Move it over here to the left. Color. Let's change it to black. Hit OK. And there we go. There's our product. And basically, that's how you work the effects key and uh, some of the other tools in here that you have, picture in picture. Thanks for watching this video. Hey, please remember to subscribe. I really appreciate your support. Okay, this is Kicker Fools, and we'll see you on the tube.